Imagine you jump into a black hole tonight. From Earth, you look frozen at the edge, forever. From your seatbelt, you've only got minutes. Which of those clocks is real? Hey everyone, welcome to Mind Blown Science, your place for exploring the biggest ideas in science, physics, and mathematics. If you love learning about the universe, from quantum mechanics to cosmology, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our deep dives into the wonders of science. Okay, quick picture. You jump toward a black hole. People on Earth track you with telescopes. They say they never cross the event horizon. They just slow and fade away. But you, strapped in and looking at your watch, feel time pass normally. Do you ever actually reach the center? This is a clock's problem. In relativity, there's your proper time, the time on your wristwatch, and coordinate time, the time a faraway observer uses. For you, falling freely into a non-rotating Schwarzschild black hole, the math shows you reach the central region in a finite amount of proper time, minutes to maybe hours depending on the hole. From the outside, light from you stretches more and more, so you look like you hover forever at the horizon. Now toss quantum mechanics into the mix. Hawking showed black holes emit radiation and slowly lose mass. That means a black hole evaporates. But the time scale matters. For a stellar mass black hole, evaporation time is absurdly long, around 10 to the power of 67 years for one solar mass. So practically, for real astrophysical black holes, Hawking evaporation won't stop you from getting to the center in your own clock. But the story isn't 100% settled. Some theoretical ideas suggest the classical picture changes when you fully include quantum gravity effects. Examples the firewall argument or fussball ideas from string theory propose structure at or near the horizon, which could mean an infaller doesn't experience nothing special. Other approaches highlight back reaction, how the black hole's evaporation and incoming matter affect space-time itself. These are active research areas and not yet consensus. So which is real? Both. From Earth's clocks, you'll appear frozen. From your own watch, you'll have finite time and then extreme tidal forces that end the ride. Hawking evaporation doesn't help the rescue crew. It's way too slow for stellar black holes. But the deep quantum puzzle of what really happens at the horizon is one of physics' greatest cliffhangers, and that's why we keep digging. If that blew your mind, hit subscribe for more mind-blown science. Drop a comment, would you jump? See you in the next deep dive.